Dye traces take away some of Karst's mystery, revealing not only the source of our underground water supplies, but also demonstrating how easy it is to pollute these seemingly crystal clear springs. Ozark soils are thin layered in many areas, with the underground fractured rock very close to the surface. Even rainwater which seeps through the soil often does not get well filtered. And rainwater that flows underground through a losing stream or sinkhole might get no filtering at all. In times past, sinkholes were often used as dumps, receiving everything from common household waste to tires, refrigerators, oil cans, pesticide containers, and even dead livestock. Well, there was a dump at Dora, Missouri. We wanted to know where that water went. That was a long time ago, and at that time, people were dumping lots of trash in that sinkhole, and they were even dumping septic tank sludge, pumping from the septic tanks. We introduced dye in that sinkhole dump and recovered it at Hodgson Mill Spring. And the newspaper in West Plains published a big story on the dye tracing, and that was just very effective. When we demonstrated where the water went and the contaminants were not getting cleaned up in transit, then people quit dumping in the sinkhole. That sinkhole stayed nearly trash-free for over 30 years, but in 2009, it was again littered with recently dumped tires and household trash. Ailey's Dye Trace clearly showed the connection between dumping in a sinkhole and polluted groundwater resurfacing at a popular spring. But sometimes land management can lead to underground destruction that is harder to prove, or might even go unnoticed unless someone is watching very carefully. Tom and wife Kathy own Tumbling Creek Cave in Taney County. They study everything in the cave, thousands of bats, water chemistry in the cave stream, and its many species of blind cave creatures. The snail we have here is called the Tumbling Creek Cave Snail. It's found only in this cave, nowhere else in the world. In the mid-1970s, we had about 15,000 of them here. Now we are down to about 150. That's only 1% of what used to be here. We believe the reason for the decline in the population has been sediment from eroding pasture land, flowing into the cave through losing streams. To stop the erosion, the Ailies did a lot of work in the cave stream's recharge area, filling gullies and replanting stream banks. Now the sediment is reduced. We are hopeful that the snail population will come back up. In caves throughout the Ozarks, other species are also threatened, including the Ozark cave fish, grotto salamander, pink planarian, and bristly cave crayfish, all victim to polluted water in their caves. Improving practices above ground could keep water below ground fit for cave creatures to survive. This is a losing stream valley that contributes water to our cave. What we've done here is basically maintain good vegetation in the stream channel and adjacent to it. We've fenced livestock out of this area so they're not tramping down the banks and depositing various things in the stream channel. You can do simple things like that and really make a great difference in the quality of not just surface water, but groundwater quality as well. If you live here in the Ozarks, you're not getting your water out of a big reservoir. Your water comes out of the ground, out of a well. And so essentially what you're drinking is spring water just pulled right out of the spring water system. Because the land is essentially a three-dimensional sponge, we do have to be very careful about what happens on the surface. Any kind of pollution, anything that's spilled, can very easily end up going through the ground, ending up into our wells. Non-point source pollution is water pollution generated over a wide area from uncontrolled sources that cannot be traced back to a single outlet. Faulty septic systems are a perfect example. 
A 2006 study by the Howell County Health Department showed 43% of all wells tested in the county contained pollution from harmful bacteria. Our study indicates that many of the wells that were found contaminated were likely the result of malfunctioning septic systems. In karst areas, wells and septic systems should be carefully installed, and septic tanks should be pumped regularly to protect against pollution. Other types of non-point source pollution that put groundwater at risk include livestock waste, erosion, farm chemicals, road runoff, and just plain trash dumping. Underground water supplies thousands of Ozark households with well water for drinking. It trickles and gushes out of hundreds of springs to feed clear rivers. And it provides enjoyment for countless visitors. The source of Ozark spring water is no longer mysterious. It is simply rainwater, traveling down through losing streams and sinkholes, then flowing within fractured rock and caves until it emerges as a sparkling spring. But these springs and all groundwater in Ozark karst areas are very vulnerable to non-point source pollution because thin soils do little to filter contaminants. This creates special challenges to protect drinking water. Water, the lifeblood of the Ozarks, cold and clear, pulses through underground veins of rock in a geologic body known as karst. Human actions can play a big part in whether that lifeblood flows pure and whether it continues to sustain all Ozark inhabitants. to take care of our springs and our rivers let them flow clear let them flow free the filth from our sewers our feedlots our dump grounds flows from the springs and slides to the sea clear cold but not pure there's one thing that's for sure Ozark springs are beautiful things, clear, cold, but not pure. Too much of the ground won't filter the water. Whatever goes down is gonna come up. We must cleanse our waters up here on the surface. Whatever goes down is gonna come up. Clear, cold, but not pure, there's one thing that's for sure. Ozark Springs are beautiful things, clear, cold, but not pure. We still have the time to make a beginning, they did it at Dora and Winona too. We can take care of our springs and our rivers, but it takes all our neighbors, me and you. Clear, cold, but not pure. There's one thing that's for sure. Ozark Springs are beautiful things. Clear, cold, but not pure.